Hello, in this video I want to show you new updated verified cache plugin which is uh, uh, new in build 1.68 it, uh, Previously it was able only to cache transformation animation but now it can cache deformations and changeable topology as well and I will use this simple uh, example to show you uh, all these three types of animations so I have this rock which I throw to this window it hits this close then it hits this uh, glass and you, you can see uh, how cracks start growing and after all, all pieces fall down so uh, this rock and this pieces which fall down as uh, is uh, transformation animation simply bake it animation this close uh, has deformation animation it means deformation animation means that object has fixed amount of vertices but they are animated and this one is object with changeable topology it has this growing cracks uh, thanks to this Rono and cracks modifier also this pieces which fell down and this one big this big one has animated visibility so at frame 28 you stop seeing this one uh, solid object and start to see small pieces which fall down okay now let's create cache And now, as you can see, there are three new buttons. Uh, record transformations is on by default always. And if you're sure you don't have any deformations and topology, you should keep this two off because it, it takes additional time to analyze all the objects to see if there are what if there are deformations or changeable topology. But in this case, I have all three types of animations, so I will turn them on. I will set my time range to 100 and here as well now I will add all the objects which I want to cache and uh, now I can hit record so it takes some time to analyze all the objects to see which way is best for caching it all them now I pick some uh, cache file or create a new one it's safe and uh, my animation now cached so if I will move here I will have all this animation just in one object in one single file which is outside of scene so I can delete all this stuff Okay, so now uh, this is just one object. Uh, here's my cached animation. Also, since visibility crack was animated, uh, the same happens here. First, I see one solid object uh, without any cracks. Maybe it's hard to see here. Okay, now you can see after hit, all these cracks start appear. and then all the pieces fell down so the benefits is that uh, it speed up your animations a lot because you have just one object all the animation and geometry stored in one single file outside of scene which is also you can uh, import into Maya using verify cache for Maya plugin and here's playback properties so uh, the simplest one is you can adjust your start, start frame uh, to adjust your animation here you can play with visibility uh, with speed property let's say you want to uh, slow down like in like uh, create some bullet time effect so let's go to the show track view and after frame 20 so I keeps one here one here and uh, one here and one here so my, now my animation is slow, will be slowed down ok should adjust it now I don't like this The same you can do for character animations or any other. So 
So we've got the idea. Okay, let's uh, delete all the keys. Uh, another one, which we, another new feature which we added in this uh, new build is this uh, frame per second uh, property. It might be useful in case you saved your animation in one uh, frame rate and then load it into the another scene with different frame rate so you can adjust uh, the frames per second property here. Uh, also we added another new feature which is uh, the scale feature. So you can adjust your scale simply by scaling this property. But also uh, again if you record your scene in one system unit and then load it into another one using this form to properties you can also uh, change uh, set uh, proper scale to this property let's say inches to centimeters so it will scale accordingly all your animation because sometimes uh, uh, such thing happens okay uh, so this is all uh, new stuff we added and uh, hope it will help you in your work thank you for watching